Good morning, good morning. Why don't you go and fuck yourself? All right, so I put up a video yesterday titled Reading the Comments on my No Sucker MC's 5 submission video. LOL. <laughs> go on, oh, my hair's fucked. Look at this shit in the morning. I, I don't know. Yeah, I got this hat in fucking bang hack. This shit is so fucking ill. It says some shit in fucking tie on the, bo on the bottom of it. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm going to read the comments on this. Uh, let's see. Top comments? Doesn't matter. Paul Gadeen's rapping since he was 15 and 20 years later still haven't made it ass boy. <laughs> what? How do you define make it? Uh, Paul Gadeen said garbage. Haas man. This Haas man is particularly fucking stupid. He's a big fat fuck. Which, apparently, you're not allowed to say anymore. Like, I'm fat, but I embrace the shit. It's obviously I'm fat. It's, you can't hide from... When you're fat, you can't hide. You're either fat or you're, you know, you're not fat. And, obviously, I'm fat, and so are you, Haas man. <clears throat> and, uh, Haas man wrote, damn, ended his career. Wait, what career? I mean, what you stupid little fucking idiots will come to find out is there's many ways you could make money in the music industry... Without necessarily being in the fucking public eye as a rapper. Okay? So. Do I have money? Do I, do I, do I don't, do I don't have, I don't know. Maybe I'm broke. I got nothing. I, let's, let's just say that. I'm broke. I'm poor. I have nothing. Destitute. I'm starving. I have nothing. Because Hasman said so. Uh. And then Haasman, this was great, this is why I wanted to make this video. I said to Haasman, because he's always hating, I don't know who the fuck he is, Haasman Beats. You're an angry, I, this is what I said to him, I said, you're an angry fat fella, huh? Be nice, I'm not the cause of your misery. Empty calories are, cut back, and one day you could only be kind of fat like me. <laughs> this guy goes about 450, 500 pounds. He, he, picture that, picture that. This guy's got to be at least 450. Five, unless he unless he's like 5 foot 2. But in this picture, he's a big fat fuck. He's twice as fat as me. Like he I have like one unnecessarily one no, one, one unnecessary small female attached to my body. Not even. I'm I'm 6 feet tall. I probably 40 50 pounds overweight. So it's it's a uh, one child I'm carrying around on my back. This motherfucker's Carrying around a family of fucking three. A husband, wife, and one child on his back. Not good for you, Haas, man. It's not good. Um, so, he said, Who said I was angry? It isn't my fault you decided to pick a career you're trash at. I'm just saying the truth. At least I'm not letting my ego destroy a career I don't even have, head-ass boy. I'm not familiar with you. I think he's from, like, the Bay or something. This sounds like, this sounds like Bay slang. But, um, I, yeah, I didn't, did, listen, and this is for all of you, hip-hop is never going to be your career. It's, not, it's just not, it's not going to be your fucking career. You're not going to make a career out of hip-hop. I had a good thing going with hip-hop 10 years ago. I got signed. I had a major record deal. I went on tour. I fucking played shows. I stuck my fingers in penis and pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I met bitches. I bought a bunch of fucking equipment. I, that I could, that I still have to show for it this fucking day. You know what I'm saying? I had some fucking fun with hip hop. Those days, the, the days for making money with hip hop, the way, you know, um, the way that people conventionally made money, I think are over. At least for me, because I'm not a young man. I still, I'm always gonna make fucking music. I'm always gonna put it out. Winning this contest would be tremendous for somebody like me. Because I've never had a fucking... I, I, every time I had a chance, I blew it. I would get signed to record deals. I would fucking take the money. Spend it on whatever I wanted. Fuck bitches. Go out and, and fucking want to just hang out and do dirtbag shit. If, at this stage in my career, if I won this contest... It would do something for me. Because I really could fucking rap like all the professional dudes you see out there rapping. I just never 
was put out through the proper fucking channels, and I could blame myself for that. The biggest, the biggest break as a rapper I ever had is when I was on Diabolic's album. If you guys don't know who Diabolic is, I'm sure you're going to say he's whack too. Diabolic is one of the best rappers that ever lived. And I was on his album. He wasn't on, well, he was on one of my albums, two of my albums, but I was on his album, which I was also titled as one of the executive producers of. So I've done, I've done some shit in the game, you know what I'm saying? But I have done nothing because Hossman Beats tells me, you know, I ain't shit. So I, I just said to Hoss, I said, if you only had a clue, I'd tell you to eat a dick, but I know one wouldn't be enough to satisfy the giant empty hole in your soul that you try to fill with food every day. So eat as many as you'd like. <laughs> okay. Was I supposed to be politically correct there? He said, you simply have no comeback for your career that never happened. That's why you're trying to change the subject and focus on irrelevant things like my weight and insulting me as a person with your inappropriate penis joke. Learn how to guess, head-ass boy. Be an adult with it. Don't bring up childish-ass things like penises and me being angry when I show no sign of being that. I just find it funny how you legit are bragging about a career that don't exist. This comment should hopefully bring light to how trash you are. Why aren't you linking them albums? Where's the proof? Back up all your arrogant-ass talk. This this comment right here is the reason why I made this video because this is everything wrong with your generation of fucking people, Haas man. Everything. You're on the internet talking shit to perfect strangers. Then you have the gall to tell me that I am I need to be an adult and learn how to guess. Fuck you. All bets are off. What happened now with my generation of people, when people would say things that were fucking, you know, you, you, the, the way you said this to me, inappropriate, insulting me. You know what happened when, when things were inappropriate or an insulting thing that somebody said to you in my day? We would slap the fuck out of the person and the guy that wins, wins. The guy that doesn't win goes home and fucking cries and never comes back around. Okay, but now you have YouTube where everybody could fucking write a comment. <laughs> you came on my page, Haas man. You teamed up with some other fuckhead because it's probably one of your friends that I said was whack. And then you got on my dick. I don't fucking care. Get on my dick. But don't fucking get mad when you come to my, my page and pop shit. Should I just appropriately fall in line because some fat fucking gelatinous mess from God knows where tells me something, go eat many dicks, Haas man, like I fucking said. Eat them all for all I care. Eat dicks until you die. That's where I put you in the category. I don't fucking care. I have no compassion for a troll. It don't bother me, but I don't fucking, I'm not gonna sit here and worry about your fucking feelings. Do you hear what you said? You simply have no comeback for a career that never happened. That's why you're trying to change the subject and focus on irrelevant things like my weight and insulting me as a person with your inappropriate... You said inappropriate. You said that I made an inappropriate penis joke. Are you a fucking teacher in a classroom? All bets are off when I'm making fun of you, bro. Learn how to guess. Head what should I say? What, should, should I go on your YouTube channel and watch you play in a fucking Casio in a room of a fucking broke down house and tell you about how shitty your life is? I don't care. My life has been shitty at points. I live in a beautiful house now with a full studio in it. That's mine. I'm not going to uh, try, try to crap on you because you're poor. I'm going to fuck with you because you're fat. That's my go-to. When people are fat, people go look under my video. People are calling me fat because they can't tell me I can't rap. I don't give a fuck if I'm fat. You know, I need to show you a picture of my fucking wife. Do I need to hold my giant dick up to the screen so you, just to let you know that I'm good, fat or not? Good. You should be good too, Haas man. You want to pop shit on the internets? Don't get fucking mad when somebody pulls your card. I pulled your fat, greasy card, fat man. It's okay to be fat, bro. It's okay to be fat. Look at this. Look at look how sexy this is. Look at that titty right there. I mean, look at this. Look, look at this. It's so, I mean, you're marginally fatter than me, but I'm just, just letting you know. 
It's no shame in being fat, Haas, man. Don't take it so personal. So, basically, everything he said. He said, why aren't you linking them albums? Where's the proof? Back up all of your arrogant ass talk. I don't need to link people albums. There's a beautiful thing called fucking Google. You can go on my Instagram, on my Twitter. You could see the fucking... The, the body of work that I share through those media outlets. You could be friends with me on Facebook. From time to time, I'll share my albums. They're all out there. I got my album, my, my latest album, Without Papers, is on iTunes. I have other albums that I've done. Uh, I don't want to tell, I, I could tell you the name, fuck, fuck you. March 1st, I did um, Classic Material, 1212, Straight Jacket, um, let's sit here. Identity Crisis, that's five that I just named right there. There's more than that. There's more fucking albums than that, and they're all on the internet. And if you want to go search them, go search them. I didn't sell millions of records. I don't have millions of fans. I'm just a kid that grew up in New York that learned how to rap better than all of you. And not a single one of you can tell me otherwise. Because in my head, I'm the fucking greatest alive. I will acknowledge that there's other great people, but if, would you want to listen to a rapper that didn't think he was the shit at what he did? I don't want to. I could like, like the dude with the goofy hat. I'm supposed to take you seriously? I'm taking you as serious as you take yourself. That's my motto for rap shit. I know there's a whole new generation of fucking light in the ass fucking dudes running around rapping with goofy hats on and shit and this other fucking clown shit that's happening, but that ain't me. When you come to me, expect a level of fucking, you know, professionalism. That's where you want to buy your product from, a professional, right? Nobody buys music anymore anyway, but... How, you're, you, have to, you have to figure, as a rapper, your image is the most important thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of who I am. I'm not hiding or pretending to be somebody I'm not. You can find that out easily also, because I uh, do a podcast every week for CypherCircuit.com, a company that basically provides a platform for rappers that do the type of hip-hop that I do, boom-bap hip-hop, that, you know, when this new influx of, um, uh, I don't even know how to call it, uh, like, you know, not lyrical type shit, because that's what it is, it's not as much lyrical as it used to be, it's more like vibe-ish type shit, there's still a whole generation of people that are coming up now that do appreciate the lyrical hip-hop, so we provide a platform for them to rap, and that's basically what... I do now, you know, with hip hop. That's my main focus is the stuff that comes out through uh, Cypher Circuit and providing this platform for kids to fucking spit dope rhymes, dope bars. Kids that make boom bap beats, kids that just check it out, cyphercircuit.com. If you want to know more about me, listen to my podcast. I have 100 episodes deep, uh, not 100 episodes, 81. Uh, this year will be 100. And. You know, I have rappers on there. I talk to them about what they're doing. I give them advice. You guys can say whatever you want in the comments here. And so I replied to him. It's not, I replied to Haas, man. It's not my job to inform your young, stupid ass of anything. And when you troll me on the internet, I have no reservations about your stupid fucking feelings or being childish. So yes, eat many dicks, you walking episode of My 600 Pound Life. Do a Google search. I'm not here to brag. If you want to know who I am and what I've done, uh, is all out there on the net. But you sit behind a computer screen and make up your own perception of it because your generation is a bunch of stupid, insecure, cunty men with no heart or balls that try to manipulate reality by projecting their insecurities onto others through text in a comment box on YouTube. That comment sums up the world for you fucking... Douche cunt fucks. Anyway, enough about Haas. Let's see, Richard Donahue. That song turned out great, man. Thanks, bro. That's fucking great. I like that. Freddie Griffith. I like this dude. He did a fucking dope ass submission. I feel what you're saying. You got bars. There's no doubt about that. So you definitely got haters. I meant the contest itself should be about bars, but it's not. That's why just bars isn't enough. <coughs> At least for this contest. Kato was looking for the dopest entry. So whatever falls into that category after seeing what happened last year, 
It's literally anybody's to win. But you've been doing this long enough, you already know. We'll see how this plays out. I just fought it. I hope you guys enjoy the scent. Oh, you can't smell it. Um, nah, first real talk, Freddie. Real talk. I, listen, I did this contest because I love hip-hop. The beats were fucking banging. I really do wish I could work with Jaron Benton. I, I admire the work that he does. I think he's fucking dope. I do want to work with Kato. I think he's fucking dope. It would be super dope to win. Am I putting so much stock in winning this contest? No. Because at the end of the day, I've literally been doing this since the early 2000s, putting out music. I said, I know I said I've been rapping since I'm 15, 16, but I haven't started putting music out, music out until uh, the early 2000s. So, would it be dope to be, you know, on a track with, with a dude like Jaron Benton that I, that I respect? Of course it would. Would it be dope to get a fucking, uh, my own beat from Kato? Of course it would. What did it take me to do? Nothing. Rap. I have nothing but time on my hands right now. So, I rap. That, that's, that's, that's what I fucking do. I rap. I sit and I write bars. And I spit them over and over obsessively in my head. And I think about the dopest shit I could possibly say and how I could say it. Some little cunt said to me on my video, this dude, I forget his name already, because I fucking... I don't know, I, he just uploaded his shit last night, and it was, it was bad, it, was, it just sounded, it didn't sound cool. The main goal here is to sound cool when you rap. If you're not cool, you won't sound cool. I don't, this thing I'm, I, the way I sound is because of where I'm from. I'm not trying to sound like this. When I listen to some of you, I hear, a, I hear a different version of you. Like at any moment, your mother could call from down the hall and be like, Brian, dinner's on the table. And you'll be like, all right, mommy, I'm just finishing this rap song. And then get on the mic and be like, yes, I know I speak. Shut the fuck up, man. That's, 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 just shut the fuck up. And then just, if that's you, don't come on my video and tell me about myself at all. Because I am the fucking genuine, authentic fucking article, okay? This is me. I am really this guy. All the time. You could find you could find me on the internet and see me being me all the time. This is not a facade. This is who the fuck I am. So, not my, I don't always wear the gold chains because you can't wear the gold chains all the time. It's not, gold chains ain't really popping anymore. You know? Maybe I'll sell them and buy a car. I could probably buy a Honda Civic with this shit right here. You know? I don't know. I'm just kidding. They're both fake. <laughs> Are they? Um, anyway, so I agree with Freddie Griffith. And then Ryan Carr says, yo, Haas, man, go Peep Coast album without papers. Give it an honest listen and get back to me, guy. If you are a student of the game and you respect bars, there's no chance you won't rock with that album. In advance, I ask you not to comment back with any slick talk. I'm not on the Internet. Fuck shit. I'm not on the internet, fuck shit. Just here stating facts. Coast by far has the best submission, no debate. Ryan Carr is, uh, um, I'm friends with him on Facebook. He listens to my shit. I don't know him in real life. I just know him through Facebook and through my music, so, you know, he doesn't have to say this shit about me. He's just, I don't know, I don't know if you would call him a fan, you know? We're friends on Facebook, but he, he believes in my music. He believes in what I do. There's a lot of, my Facebook is not really on YouTube. Fucking checking for these comments. I watched, and uh, Ryan said, I watched every entry, no hate, besides Coast, everyone was garbage. Coast bodied that beat, all bars. Do your research and you'll see Coast spin out, putting in work. It's shameful you young boys think you can actually spit. Hang it up. Coast bodied you all. No hate, no bias, just facts. Um, you know, there, there were some cats on there that could spit. Uh, there wasn't, honestly, there was not another fucking dude. When you li go listen to Jaron Benton's album, then play directly after that, play these submissions. I am the only motherfucker that came out that could get on a track with Ryan, uh, with, with fucking Jaron Benton and not look like a fucking idiot on some bar shit. There was cats on there, I said. There was cats on there that had concepts. Like Freddie Griffith, I, I didn't hear him bar out. Maybe he could bar out. You know, he was doing something more conceptual with his submission. Um, 
And there was a couple cats like that, which I think that they probably have more layers to them and they probably could. But bar for bar, right now, I am the only dude that submitted something that can bar the fuck out and get on a track with fucking Jaron Benton and not look like a fucking idiot. Listen to the way Jaron Benton speaks in his rhymes. Does he sound uncool? Does he sound like he's fucking whack? That's how most of y'all motherfuckers sound. They like, but you can't. This is something that I believe in my heart that you. This is something that can't be taught. I've always said that. I've been able to rap pretty much as good as I could rap since the first day I started rapping. It's not something I learned because growing up, we all we all had a certain way of talking, a certain gift of gab that comes with being from New York. I didn't have to learn that shit. I grew up watching the older dudes at barbecues talk and. And the slang that they would say and the shit that came out of their mouth in front of this corner store while they were drinking a beer. And I was like, yo, that shit, that shit is slick. That shit sounds, that shit sounds dope. I like the way, I like what they're able to do with the way they communicate. And that shit just became ingrained in me. So that's why when I speak, when I rhyme, that's why I sound the way I sound. Because I don't want to sound like a fucking nut. You understand? I don't want to sound like a clown. Like y'all motherfuckers. It's important. I wanted this video to be like two minutes long. Here we are, 21 minutes and 17, 18, 19 seconds in. Finish this coffee. Then I got to go to the chiropractor because my back hurts. Doctor says I need a backy out of me. I got to go.